Hey, how you doing, everybody? It's Cash Sports. I'm Cash. And I'm Arvin. Today, we're going to get into a topic that I don't think is talked about enough in the league, but it's still somewhat relevant. It's the Utah Jazz. And specifically regarding the Utah Jazz, we want to point out if this season, if they don't make a push in the playoffs, should they break up their team? And so, Arvin. What do you think? Do you think after this season, if the Utah Jazz don't have a good run in the playoffs, you think they should break up the team? You know what, Cash? I don't think they should break up. Wow, they are a cursed team, and they probably won't win a finals or be even in the finals in near future anytime soon. You can't say that they're a bad team. Rudy Gobert is top five centers in the league right now. Donovan Mitchell is probably top three uh, shooting guards in the league. They're both superstars and are crazy players who are really good for their teams. Last year they were number one in their conference. In fact they were 52 wins and 20 losses. That, that's the best record in the league. Just shows how crazy that team was. Even though they did get blown out by Clippers in the second round, they did blow up uh, uh, Grizzlies right before that. So therefore, I think they need just more talent on their team. They, the two of them are just not enough, I think. We've got Nets, we've got um, Bucks, we've got Heat, they all got a lot of superstars on their teams. Mm, Heat's got like four superstars. Bucks got three. Therefore, Jazz just needs another superstar in my opinion. And I think it's going to fix all their problems. So you made some valid arguments, Art. I'm not going to lie. The Jazz, for them to contend for NBA Finals, I do think they need one more good piece, one more star on their team to contend for a title. But despite all that, I think the Jazz should break it up. I think this would be their last dance. And I'm going to explain to you here. So the Jazz, they just had way too many playoff failures for this to work, for this to go on any longer. For example, in 2018, the Utah Jazz, Mitchell was emerging as a superstar in the league at that time. And he performed way above expectation. Beating the Thunder when they had Paul George and Russell Westbrook on OKC. But since then, they've came up short in every postseason following after that. In 2019, they've lost to the Houston Rockets in five games. And lost two games by 20 plus points or more. In 2020, they blew a 3-1 lead to the Denver Nuggets. Even though Donovan Mitchell played phenomenal that postseason. And finally, last season, they blew a 2-0 lead on the Los Angeles Clippers. And lost 4-2 against the Clippers that got Kawhi Hurt mid-series. So they only had Paul George. And they still managed to lose that series with Donovan Mitchell. With Rudy Gobert. So, with that being said... I just don't think the Jazz are just one of those teams that's going to contend for a title anytime soon. It's like everybody says. They're like a, like a cursed franchise. I mean, I don't know anybody going to sign to the Utah Jazz. It's just, who goes to the Utah Jazz? Who says in free agency, yeah, I'm, I'm going to the Utah Jazz? It doesn't happen. And Donovan Mitchell is balling right now. I mean, we're seeing... What's happening in Portland with Damian Lillard, all those seasons where Damian Lillard has been one of the best point guards in the league, but then what is that guy in him? One Western Conference? The Utah Jazz haven't even made it to a Western Conference. So we don't want to see that with Donovan Mitchell. And with that being said, I just think the Jazz are going to break up after this season if they have another playoff failure. I just simply don't think Donovan Mitchell is going to want to stay on the Jazz after so many playoff woes. 
I think he's going to want to be on a bigger franchise. Possibly the Knicks. I don't know. Maybe the Lakers. Doubt it. After this, after this shenanigans, I don't think Donovan Mitchell goes to the Lakers. But I do see Donovan Mitchell potentially leaving the Jazz if they have another playoff failure. So all in all, Artem, I simply just don't think Utah Jazz I think they just got to break up their team. I don't think this team is not going to contend despite having Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. I think they just they need more out of a player like Rudy Gobert. With the money that they're paying him, in order for you to contend for an NBA championship, mm -hmm. your number two has to score at least... 18 to 20 points a game for you to win a title. And even though Rudy Gobert is a defensive presence, he can give you 15 points, 15 rebounds a game, but during those times in the crunch, when it's, when it's playoffs, mm -hmm. when you need buckets, when you need free throws, when you need yep. those last second shots, that's when the game matters. That, that you need players that can score, that can come in clutch, that can give you those plays when it really matters. Now, I mean, I don't doubt it. You know, Rudy Gobert could probably, you know, because having defense is certainly clutch when it comes to, uh, to when it comes to playoff basketball. And defense overall is a rare commodity in this league. So to have somebody like Rudy Gobert, I, I would definitely want him on my team. I'm not saying he's trash or nothing, mm -hmm. but I just don't think he is enough or the combination between Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert is enough to win a title. I, j I just don't think it. I just don't. Unless they can find a third guy or, 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 or be aggressive enough to get a trade to get somebody to the team because we've seen what the, what the Bucks did. Mm -hmm. They went out and got Drew Holiday. Yeah. And Drew Holiday was a great player. We always knew he can defend. We always knew he can do what he uh, he can do what he was doing, mm -hmm. you know. And Chris Middleton was already there, Giannis was already there. You just had somebody that can come in and f fulfill their role. Why can't the Utah Jazz do the same thing? So, and like I said, I, I just don't I don't see that team getting another. A third player. I, I, I don't see them getting a third, a dominant third option. Because who who's going to be dominant enough to come in and be the third option? Because in this instant, Rudy Gobert plays like a third option. So you actually need a second guy to come in and score. And to be that number two. So. Well, there are curves, that's for sure. It might be. I definitely think Utah is a cursed city. They got some cursed fans. <laughs> For sure. But that's how we feel.